welcome to the Greater Columbus Convention Center here in Columbus, Ohio, home of an event named for a man synonymous with strength, the Arnold Strongman Classic. Time for part two of the 2020 Rogue Record Breakers. Earlier, we witnessed feats of strength that shattered records, with Tom Stoltman breaking the Atlas Stone record by lifting a 565-pound stone over a 48-inch bar, and then he reset the bar by lifting a mind-boggling 602-pound stone. On the women's side, Hannah Lindsay impressed the crowd with her 40-pound buzzer-beater throw in bag over bar. It set the rogue record and established herself as a top strong woman contender. Sam Farber, Dr. Bill Crawford here with you. It's the Denny Stone Lift and Hold next up. This is an event very close to my heart, you know, going to Scotland, lifting the Denny Stones. Um, it's uh, one of the epic events that's in Strongman. It was thought that they couldn't be lifted for a long time, for over 100 years. And back in the early 1970s, a 150-pound policeman from Belfast went and lifted them, Jack Shanks. And that set everybody on fire. One of the early lifters with straps was actually uh, the man that played Darth Vader, uh, David Prowse, who was a Highland Games athlete. So there's a lot of history behind this, just like the Husafell Stone, just like the Inverse Stone. So this is history and our homage to current day strength athletics. And it's great to see people so interested in it, training so hard, setting new records, and keeping these events alive. The Denny Stones, named after the legendary Donald Denny, are located in Potark, Aberdeenshire, Scotland. They date back to the 1800s and have a combined weight of 733 pounds. In the 1830s, huge iron rings were attached to these stones so that they could act as counterweights for scaffolding during the maintenance of the Potark Bridge. Ordinary folk would struggle to lift even the smallest Denny Stone, but in 1860, Donald Denny famously carried both of them with his bare hands across the width of Potark Bridge, a distance of over 17 feet. The lift and hold for time is a fairly modern day challenge, which can be attempted with the original stones and now with the rogue replicas as well. The rogue replica Denny's first appeared in competition at the Arnold Classic back in 2017 and are one pound heavier than the originals in Scotland. The current record with the Rogue Replica Denny Stones is 31.36 seconds, set in 2017 by Mark Felix. A four will go at this event. What are some of the keys that you see? It's an event that you really should prepare for to toughen your hands, and it's a matter of getting them off the ground, and then when you're holding them, you have to just be able to just endure, to, to just suffer. A lot of guys straddle it. This athlete has decided to stand and pick them up in a farmer's walk manner, side to side. That, that big stone's gonna rub against his leg pretty hard. I can tell you that from experience. These stones weigh 733 pounds combined weight. Sean Hayes, Elliot Rosenthal, Brad Ardley, and Mark Felix before here in this rogue record-breaking attempt. Great job getting him off the ground. It's in your hands, in your back, in your neck. Your body says, that's enough. Looks like it might have torn his hand also. How could it not? <laughs> Well, this is what the layperson are... thinks. Yep. Absolutely, that's see? A, that's a thumbs up. The official, we're told, is 18.75 for Sean Hayes. Now they're pushing the stones together probably because the athlete's going to straddle the stones. In other words, they'll put a foot in front, a foot in back, and sort of have a, a mechanical advantage in that way, lifting the stones up, and they won't drag against their legs, so they completely eliminate that possibility. Next up is Elliot Rosenthal. And the, the Denny Stones, these are copies of some classic stones. What makes this one special in the world of Strongman? Because it's named after Donald Denny. Donald Denny was a great athlete in the late 1800s. These are, these are replicas of the stone from Scotland. Saw Elliot 
with that different strategy. Creating that space between his legs for uh, the Stones to come up. Did not quite reach Sean Hayes' mark. That was about 13 seconds for Elliot Rosenthal. Brad Ardry is next. Chalking up his thumb so his thumbnail doesn't pry apart. <laughs> and I've seen that before too. Those of the uh, judges are getting down to make sure that there's wind beneath the stone, as they say in Scotland. Wind tweaks the earth and the stone. He's getting pumped up, but you have to have some, leave some reserve in there, so I hope he's not too pumped up. Got a hook grip. Now notice he's got a hook grip. He's throwing his thumb inside the, his, inside the fingers, and that acts like a strap. That's the strategy that most people lift these with. Well over 700 pounds he's got elevated here. Looks pretty comfortable, he's not shaky. He's going to a happy place. There you go, he's doing a great job. Now. Yeah, he's a local, they're, they're cheering for him. He seems to have the mark to beat. How long can he hold it? It's over 20 seconds, I oh. think, in the 21-22 range unofficially. We'll get some tighter times, and of course, the official time. But a very strong effort from Brad Ardry. Great job. 22.3 22. 22. is the new mark to beat. Oh, It'll Mark, be Mark Felix. Felix. Yes. He owns this record. I believe it, 31-3. That was 2017, I believe. He's from England. He's been to Scotland to the Highland Games and lifted these stones many times. I'm pretty sure he's not going to hook grip. He's just going to reach down and grab him. His grip strength is legendary, and he's a... He's a world-class deadlifter. You've probably seen him on World's Strongest Man here on the stage at the Arnold. He's in his 50s. No excuse, folks. This <laughs> is a strong man. I mean, he's a world-class athlete, and he is the record holder in this event. He wants to break 32-plus to get that, get that prize. Look at the forearms and the hands. He's kind of doing a, he's not hook gripping, but he's locking his thumb onto that outside finger pretty hard. He is straddled, that's good. He's got the stone directly beneath his, his spine and that really keeps you from having to use too much back strength. Good effort so far. So about 15 seconds. Got it locked in. He's got a good start. Really high off the ground. He's struggling. He's fighting it. He's fighting it. Almost there for the $5,000 in the record. Oh, Mark. We'll wait for the official word. Oh, so close. The record was 31.36. It was in that 30-second range. Does he have it? 31.4, he's bested it. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the record is set. It was 31.36. I love it. I'm happy for Mark. That's great. New record. It takes grip. It takes a strong back and an iron will. Look at him hold on to these stones. These are epic implements. 733 combined pounds. An unreal performance. Mark Felix with a new record-breaking performance here. And after that rogue record breaker, he stands by now with our Kiki Dixon. Congratulations, you just beat your own record and won $5,000 in the process. What does it mean to you? It's mean a lot to me. I really wanted to beat a record. This second time I come to beat it, so I'm beating it this time. I'm very happy. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kiki, and congratulations to a repeat road record breaker, Mark Felix, besting his own record by four one hundredths of a second. Incredible. Stay with us as part two of the 2020 Rogue Record Breakers is just getting started. Next, we have an extreme test of strength and endurance. The two minute deadlift for reps begins when we return. 
Competition continues here in Columbus, Ohio at the Arnold Strongman Classic. We have had a great blend throughout the day of the 10 strongest men alive, as well as our rogue record breakers. And who better to talk about some record breaking accomplishments than two of the fittest people on the face of the earth today. Matt Frazier, Tia Claire Toomey, it is an absolute pleasure to have you guys back. I'm used to covering you guys out there on the competition floor. This is a real treat to see you here. And we're about to see deadlift for reps, a two minute time cap, pretty heavy weight for the average person. These are more than the average people out there. Mm -hmm. 315 pounds for the guys, 225 for the women. Should be a lot of fun. There are some people you've seen at CrossFit events very recently or over the years in competition here on the guy's side. Who do you like? I know from the names that, that I recognize, I think the favorite is Austin Maliolo. You know, he's known for deadlifting. Anytime there's a deadlift workout that comes up in the open, his arms are just so long. He has such an advantage over these other competitors. This is a very different type of thing, trying to go for the reps. What are some of the keys as an athlete to performing well, knowing you're trying to hit a big number here? Going into this workout, you need to actually have a solid game plan and stick to it. Two minutes is a long time where you just can't go hell for leather and deadlift for the full two minutes. For me, I would start at a bigger set and then try and get as far as I could before I had to go fast singles. And when I mean fast, I mean with, with a bit of an urgent pace. <laughs> In this event, the athletes will be using two of the real flagship products of the Rogue Arsenal, the 20 kilogram men's Ohio bar and the women's 15 kilogram Bella bar. Both of these barbells are manufactured right here in Columbus, Ohio. They've each got a 190,000 PSI tensile strength shaft and an ultra durable Cerakote color finish, which offers up about 100 times the corrosion resistance of standard black zinc. As for the plates they'll be loading on those bars, those are the latest IWF approved Rogue Competition bumpers, which as you'll see, produce a nice minimal bounce on the drop. Our women up on the competition floor, 225 pounds again is the weight. It's as many deadlifts as possible in two minutes and away they go. And Tia, you just said you, you would be breaking this up. You'd have a, a set in mind for set number one. I definitely would have a larger set. I would want to start off with a nice large set, making sure that I'm keeping that form, not going too hard too early, but making sure that I'm also not breaking it up too much. However, coming into that, you know, 45 second mark and just before the halfway mark, I'm, I'm definitely going to be hurting and, and people may, may be breaking them up a little bit more. Um, you know, this workout, it's something that you just, you're working for those two minutes and you just want to keep being aggressive throughout the whole two minutes. See, I, I, I see one girl, she, she started off at a frantic pace, you know, yeah. just the, the speed of each lift and I mean, how many seconds into the event are we? And she's already slowing down. Then you see the other strategy of a slower cadence, pause at the top, pause at the bottom. So your body knows where it's gonna get its next breath and you're not burning out and then struggling to hang on for the last minute. I think that strategy is gonna pay off here. Under a minute remaining here as we see our rogue record breaker competitors. These girls are strong too, you know. Look at them, they're they're fierce, but yeah, I pull, pulling a big number for one rep and pulling for two minutes continuously are two totally separate things. Time winding now. What do you think, folks? Got our results in. Now Caroline Prevo is our winner at 62 reps. 62 reps. At what rep did you really start to feel it and how did you continue to push through? Um, about halfway at 30 in my very first part of the workout. Um, then I really had to fight for the rest of them, for sure. You made it and you said it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you to Kiki. Thanks to Caroline as well. Very impressive, 62 reps. Oh man. Throw it back to you, Tia. I mean, you know, you, you talked about what your strategy would be 
for this kind of event, knowing what the number is now, does that change anything about how you would have attacked this? Oh, no, not at all. You know, that is an impressive uh, number of deadlifts. And, you know, that girl pushed hard, and she deserves the, that record for sure <laughs> because she worked for that. And, uh, and I think that that is really impressive, and it's going to be hard to beat. And there's, there's that balance of, you know, what you're able to just rep yeah. as long as you can versus how easy it is for the first one. Yep. 55 reps, you reckon? I'm, what's the number? Give us, a, give us the estimate. 55? I'm, I'm putting my money on Austin at, let's go 57. 57. Numbers are in, and they are off and running. You see oh. Dan Bailey on the stage. What is the set you would do for your initial one, Matt, if you were out there right now? Oh, man. Uh, what? Let's just, like, I don't have to do it, so let's just say I'd do 60 on broken. <laughs> 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 no, I would probably, I would probably take the approach of, you know, uh, smaller, smaller sets with a short break, you know. I'd probably start out at 10, 10 or 12 and try to hold nothing lower than a set of eight but just very, very short breaks. Had Austin Maliolo I know, on the screen for a moment. It did not look like he had taken a break at that point. Yeah, I know Dan, I think Dan said he was going for a set of 17, set of 15, and then just try to hang on after that. Um, I think, did Lucas Parker have the highest qualifier coming in? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Is two minutes in this a long time or I mean, a short time? I mean, it's for this, this is a long one. But I mean, like you see these, these huge guys, their first rep, I'm sure they're pulling 600 plus. The first rep is effortless. Now we're about a minute in and their their backs round, they're struggling. It's just a whole different stimulus than they've probably ever done. What's quite fascinating is they all have a slightly different like, technique or speed, you know? Right. Like, look at, the, look at the sizes, man. I'm sure this weight is nothing for him, but doing a set this big is just not in his ballpark. That's good. There you have Dan Bailey, who is also laboring on the back end of this event. Down to our final 15 seconds. Come on, Dan. Pick it back up. Let's go. I want to see what Austin looks like right now. He hasn't been on screen too much. Oh, Trying to get that final rep. That. Two minutes is up. All right, we had a prediction of 55 and 57. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. let's let him hear 315 that pounds. How many reps can you do in a two-minute stretch? Oh, yeah. These boys are they are hurting right now. 61 reps, oh, wow. Austin Maliola. There we go. Well done. So a new record established with the women was 62, 61. Yeah, women got 62. Kiki Dixon is standing by with Austin. Let's hear what he has to say after a road record breaker. Austin, two minutes is a quite a long time to be deadlifting. How did you break it down? Well, I just knew that when I did it in, you know, for the online qualifier, I did, I think, 25. Gassed me a little bit, so I did 20 and tried to hold on for 10s and 5s, and a little adrenaline, uh, you know, never hurts anybody, so I'll take it. Congratulations. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for joining us here and being a part of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Matt Frazier, Tia Claire Toomey. We've got more rogue record breakers still to come. Women's Monster Dumbbell coming up next here. When we return, much, much more still ahead at the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic. Dr. Bill Crawford back with me here at the desk as competition continues and our rogue record breakers continue. And now we'll go into something that's a little bit more of that dynamic one rep max type of event here with the women's monster dumbbell. Very different test, but uh, uh, still one that should provide us with a lot of entertainment. We see the women getting ready to compete here on the competition floor. Donna Moore, Jessica Fithen, Kristen Rhodes and Samantha Bellevue are the four who will be uh, tackling the dumbbell, so to speak. The Rogue Monster Dumbbells are co-developed with strongman gear expert Steve Slater. These bells bring back the look and function of the classic circus dumbbell in a heavy-duty 21st century form. 
Monster bells have been used routinely in strongman competitions across the globe, where the circus dumbbell clean and press remains one of the most challenging events. The women's rogue record was introduced in 2019 during the Arnold Strongman Classic. Kristen Rhodes and Leifa Ingalls initially set the record at 165 pounds and two reps. Just a few months later though, Kristen Rhodes pressed 175 pounds for one rep at the 2019 Rogue Invitational, giving her the record all on her own. Donna Moore is going to be up first. What is the weight you have in mind that is the possible here? I'm thinking 175, 180 plus. I don't see that short, stopping anything short of that, which is absolutely astounding because just 15 years ago, a 200 pound dumbbell was a big deal in the men's strongman world. I remember Fortissimus in 2009, the great Sadunus Saviscus, who was a pressing specialist, got 225, and people were really enthralled by that. And so look where we are now, men are over 300 pounds, or women are approaching 200 pounds. Shows the specificity of the, of the event. But one-handed pressing used to be a big deal in the world of strength 100 years ago. We lost that, and we're back. First up is going to be Donna Moore. The right hand sticks it. Now going for reps. One six five. Oh, take some time. They're they're imploring her to take some time. Has a minute on the clock. Hundred and eighty pounds. Speaking of Sadrunas, the great Sadrunas Viscus is the head judge, eight time strongman champion here at the Arnold. Donna's great at this event. Oh, try to do a little side bent press. 20 seconds left. He's already gotten it once. Yes. New record has been established, Donna Moore, 180. Great effort. Jessica Fithin is next. In our rogue record breaker, women's monster dumbbell. Jessica Fithin, 180, up to the shoulder. Hip drive. That position is very, very important. Tilting the elbow out and to the side, and then getting that hip drive, and then meeting it at the top and locking it out. Jessica's from Indiana. Took first in the strongest woman in the world in 2019. First in the Arnold Strong Woman Amateur back in 2018. Almost. The dumbbell size has got a little bit to do with this because she's not able to tilt it quite as much because it's really coming up against her head. So that's a, the, the implement itself is uh, very impressive, but it's, uh, it's big and it's unwieldy. Close, but not quite for Jessica Fiffin. Donna Moore with that rep at 180. He got very close to putting a second one up there as well. Yes. That's the mark to beat. Kristen Rhodes is next from California. Eight-time America's Strongest Woman and a three-time Strong Woman World Champion. Set a number of world records in her illustrious career. I say she gets this. Oh, short on the first one. She does have that 90 second window to work with. I'd be a little surprised if she doesn't get this because she's really good at one handed pressing overhead, one handed movements. 
Just shows you how heavy this is. She's struggling with that. Got it. Got it. Wow. That's one. She is now tied with Donna Moore. Matching Donna Moore. And the time, there's 30 some seconds remaining for Kristen Rhodes. Really quickly up to the chest, but then trying to get it to position because of the size of the implement and the weight. Oh, so close. She'll have to settle for the tie. Kristen Rhodes and Donna Moore both able to complete one rep at 180 in this Rogue Record Breaker. Last up is Samantha Bellevue from New Brunswick, Canada. She is the youngest of our competitors. 911 dispatcher. A, yes, I understand she's quite athletic, so if I can. Some of the time, timing can be some of this as well as brute strength, so. 2019, she was second at Can Canada's Strongest Woman. That's gotta be close to her body weight, honestly. Fairly, fairly easy up to the shoulder. It's in position. Oh. Strangely seems confident after a miss there. So she has a little bit more information to go off of as she makes her second attempt. She probably just felt she had it a little bit off, of, off the groove and feels that, so maybe she's thinking that she could get it in that groove, it'll work. I crowd. thought you would have gotten one. Very impressive still. Our rogue record breaker, Donna Moore and Kristen Rhodes will share it at 180. So the women's monster dumbbell is in the books. Congratulations to Donna Moore and Kristen Rhodes who now share the record each with a press of 180 pounds. Stick around, we'll speak with our newly crowned rogue record breakers when we return. Welcome back to the 2020 Rogue Record Breakers here in Columbus, Ohio. Overall, we've seen two new records established and two additional records have been broken so far. Let's meet some of these record holders and find out what drives them to rewrite the strength record books. I'm Mark Felix, I'm from England. I'm one of the world's strongest men. Since I grew up as a kid, I've always been strong, I always want to be strong. I love strength training. Going to the gym and lifting weight and stuff is my passion. I love it. The Dini Stone been around for a long time. And you know, and people do all sorts. They try to carry it, they try to lift it. And then a couple of years ago, they decided to do it for whole. And I did it and I did like 31 seconds. I was here last year trying to break it. I didn't, so I came here to do the record breaker. There's two different weights. One is like one, one is like around 190k, and one is like 156 kilogram. They're pretty heavy and very out of balance. These are the block of the pain. It's, it's only temporary. I think like the first six to ten seconds, you just have to get over that bit, and it's gonna start feeling better till coming to the end. You start squeeze. I did it, and I break my record. 31.4 seconds. You know, I just beat it by just this much. Doing it next time, I'm gonna beat it by a lot more. My name is Donna Moore. I'm from the UK and I work in social services. On the side, I do strong one. <laughs> 
So I was already an existing rogue record breaker for the Valkyrie Atlas Stone Challenge for the last two years. I'm the record holder there, so it's still my record. And now I've got a new one, uh, Circus Dumbbells. This year I was aiming to be Kristen Rhodes's previous 175 pound Circus Dumbbell record. I think she set at the Rogue Invitational up earlier this year. I really wanted that record. I really, really wanted it. So I uh, worked hard and I got my one rep. I would have liked more reps, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> It's great satisfaction because I think it's kind of a technical lift as well. It's not just like a brute power thing. You need to have loads of balance. You need to be able to you know, stabilize it above your head. It's heavy to kind of clean it up onto your shoulder, but when it's there, it's kind of comfortable. But I do it because I love it. It makes me feel happy. It's empowering. I want to show the world what women can do to be a part of something that people only thought that guys would be able to do. You know, it's something that you, you can do if you want to and break down the stereotypes of what people believe women should and shouldn't be. And I want the world to see how strong women can be. That's all for today at the 2020 Rogue Record Breakers. Congratulations to all of our athletes and especially to the record holders. On part three of our Rogue Record Breakers, our challengers will face one of the toughest grip strength tests, the Rogue Anvil Grip. Then, the strong women will step up to the legendary Rogue Elephant Bar for the first time in competition history. We shall see who adds their names to the record books. For Dr. Bill Crawford and our entire crew, I'm Sam Farber. It's been a pleasure and a privilege having you with us at the 2020 Rogue Record Breakers.